Hi everyone, welcome to Intellective's Wow and Now channel, where we share thoughts, ideas, products, and solutions that bring wow on the ServiceNow platform. I'm Ritesh Dalal, and today we will talk about securing public forms on ServiceNow. At Intellective, we've built a number of such solutions for customers, and one that comes to mind is a very prominent university that needed public-facing service portal, and even catalogs, uh, so that the vendors, alumni, even parents of students could uh, interact uh, with ServiceNow's service catalog without needing a ServiceNow user account. And we built a custom solution where they could reuse these catalog items for both guest users as well as logged in users. And in case of guest users, some extra questions would show up and along with some security of uh, Google reCAPTCHA. And what we did is we actually took that solution and packaged it uh, into an update set where you can implement Google reCAPTCHA um, into your service portal and public forms in probably under a minute. And all you need to do is get a site key and a secret generated from Google's website. Um, and then you can just implement or rather uh, just turn on this update set um, and get going with the forms really. And one thing to remember is Google generates different keys for version 2 and version 3 uh, of reCAPTCHA. So you can't just use version 2 keys uh, for a version 3 implementation. So you got to kind of remember that and decide ahead of time which one do you really want to use. The main difference between the two versions is that version 3 actually does not require user interaction. Google behind the scenes uses an algorithm that figures out or gives a score uh, to every request that actually kind of comes in and the more it runs on your pages it realizes uh, you know what kind of traffic do you usually get and then with that traffic it actually knows um, how to go ahead and score these things and uh, pass or fail uh, whatever requests are coming in uh, but in any case the update set that we have built uh, actually supports both version 2 and version 3 and you can decide which one you want to implement um, so we'll go ahead and look at this implementation on one of our instances um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this update set and actually put it onto a very clean instance. We're going to generate the site keys and we're going to put it on a clean instance and look at uh, say version 2. Uh, we'll just turn that one on and actually kind of work through it and that way we have that available. Um, and we can look at it and then also uh, we're going to make this update set available on a URL that uh, you can actually then uh, click either in the description or uh, even where if we are going to as we post this on LinkedIn or anything else uh, you'll actually get the links and you can just click through the link fill out a form uh, get this update set sent to you um, and you can go ahead and start to use it in your instances so without further ado let's just go ahead and look at this particular demo that's running here um, in my browser window right now um, and as you can see this is an incognito window uh, I am not logged in into this particular instance here so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this this URL that we have and we will just try to open it here just by itself and we'll see that we are actually not logged in into this particular instance um, but uh, we have this page which was a public page running on a public portal and uh, we'll, we'll click on version 3 um, and see how version 3 interacts uh, which pretty much is kind of you don't really see any major difference uh, behind the scenes we just simply loaded in the version 3 widget here um, and you have it available to go ahead and just click through and see what it's going to do uh, as far as Google is concerned so clicking on this button now uh, Google actually sends a request out uh, into the server and a token and then the, the server side script is going to validate that against Google um, and actually give you back a response and as we saw that green message that came in which said server-side validation successful uh, which basically means I'm not a robot and this is what this particular implementation does. Now re let's reload this particular page and get the v2 button now and let's click on the v2 widget and what this is going to do now is it's going to actually bring in the version 2 widget that we had and we're just embedding it right into this particular page um, and we're still on the public form uh, we don't we do not have a logged in session here and let's just click I'm not a robot it's asking me to validate stairs let's see if I can get this right here 
Okay, so hopefully these are all the stairs that I can see here. And yes, I'm not a robot. Um, so let's go ahead and submit this particular request and you'll see the same thing happen here where it says server side validation successful. What it pretty much did, it, it, it verified me that I wasn't a robot, I got this check mark. Um, and then that particular check mark actually um, generated a token and that token was then validated on the server side um, from Google's end so that we can make sure that it's not just that we are doing a front end validation and the form is just good uh, here that you cannot hit the submit button but also when the request gets to the server it is validated again so nobody can really take what you're submitting your request body and things like that um, and create an automated script that just says okay I'm going to keep submitting this request body and keep generating these records behind the scenes and again we also reset it um, as soon as uh, the server call is done so now when I click on it it will actually fail the server side validation because I do not have a token uh, you could even check where, uh, where it says that oh I have not even confirmed on this recapture here um, and that way your, your form is really not going anywhere at all so let's try to go ahead and generate a token from Google and implement this particular update set um, into a clean environment so I just got a clean environment here this is just completely out of the box it's a Paris instance and what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Google Recapture, um, and here is where I'm going to go ahead and create a site. So let's just kind of copy this URL that I have here, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is the label of my site, and let's try to do the V2 because V2 is actually the one that has that challenge and it's it's more visual. You could do an invis invisible badge and things like that as well. Um, and then let's add the domain as well here. So let's accept the terms of service. Also here I can just type in the domain and I believe I just need to do this. And now uh, we can go ahead and just submit. And what this is going to do is going to create these two different keys for me and we're going to come to these keys uh, in just about a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and implement the update set on the other side. So here I'm just going to go and get into the retrieved update set section and go ahead and bring in the Google recapture update set. So let's go ahead choose a file here from desktop. I have this update set just sitting in there and we're going to upload. And we have it here. It is loaded and it says Google recapture by Intellective. Let's go ahead and preview it and no errors successful preview and let's go ahead and commit it right so now this update set has been committed let's go ahead and look at what all did we get as part of this update set so in here we actually have uh, let's just go into the service portal so just say portals and here we have probably a bunch of out-of-the-box portals that we have here for this environment. So let's copy that so SP. So we're going to load the out-of-the-box portal. And then I'm just going to copy the URL off that page, the demo page that we were looking at. Because one of the things that we would have gotten here as part of the update set is that demo page as well. And here, if I looked at it, so this is the Google Recapture demo. So let's copy this particular name here and it's got to be ID equals and it's going to load that page up now in this instance. Um, every one of these things are going to fail right now because we actually haven't put in the, the keys that we want we wanted here. So if I click on that um, it's going to load up the widget but it's really not going to do the validation uh, because we haven't actually put in the keys here so it's not even instantiating uh, our, our Google recapture yet and the same thing on the v2 side uh, it's it's invalid site right now so let's go in and look at these pages so let's let's look at this particular page right now and this is just a demo page so we don't really need to worry about how this was really implemented but if you look at this sample widget right here uh, we'll actually see that it is bringing in the v2 or the v3 version of the widget just by clicking on these these buttons um, and so let's go ahead and open up the v2 widget because we have the keys for that so under widgets 
we'll look for Google and let's get the v2 sample widget here and this is just a, a form here we have a recapture container where the, where, where the recapture actually shows up and then in here is where we look at the implementation of it and this particular Google recapture script include is also already part of the update set uh, along with a rest message that actually goes and calls Google and verifies your tokens and everything else so you can do one of two things you can either just put in your site key and secret like right here and pass it into as you instantiate your script include or the other thing you could do is uh, you could put them in these properties and when you put them in these properties uh, you don't need to pass them in every time and they'll just get picked up directly from the properties so as of right now just for the purpose of this demo what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab those keys bring them in here paste them in here so that we can quickly see this demo working so let's go back onto the Google site here and I'm going to copy the site key we'll come back here and in this site key section we're going to go in and paste it and we're going to go here copy the secret and go back here and we're going to paste in the secret so now that we have done that uh, let's save it and now that this is saved for the widget we're going to go back into the demo we're going to reload this demo page and click on the v2 widget and now you can see that because we have the side keys um, the version 2 um, demo is actually up and running and if I submit this request it's going to say recapture is not solved yet um, if I click on it here um, it is because it knows that I'm not a robot by um, Google does kind of run some kind of intelligence on there as well it's not going to ask me every time but if I reload this page again and I try to submit a form it's most likely that it's going to ask me to go ahead and, and pick uh, images so as we as we do this multiple times on a page it will start to say okay now verify these images because you I am seeing a lot of requests coming in from here um, and with that uh, you do need to get verified so right now I'm going to go ahead and submit this request uh, it actually took the token and sent it back to the server as you can see here it says v2 server side verification successful um, so all of this is just up and running and let's look at the widget one more time so that we can see what do we really need to do uh, in order to get this thing up and running here so simply on the server side script here it's kind of really really simple uh, we're simply instantiating um, the Google recapture script include um, and you don't need to pass this in if you have set these system properties because they'll it'll get picked up from there and all what I'm actually sending down um, into the widget before the submit actually comes and takes place is the site key uh, so that way you don't even have to store it anywhere else it's just coming from a system property the script includes going to give it to you you give it out to the widget so the widget knows how to get this thing set up and how to render that that little checkbox so going back down into the client script client script is pretty simple as well and what we've also done is we have also included um, an angular provider uh, called Google recapture so you can run that and get the information from it so here we actually are looking at it we're saying okay on the Google recapture um, initialize it and then you give it the site key that was sent in from the server script um, and then here is where you have the callback and a few other things like that uh, there's a link right here that will also tell you um, all the parameters that you can actually kind of pass in uh, as well as what else can we expect here there are a bunch of callback functions that we can do and things like that as well um, so that way if it's expired you can reset it if or whatever the callback is when you get a token what do you do with it and that's what uh, these things are here uh, so we're saying get the v2 result uh, when you have the callback um, and then we have the expired callback which will reset the capture here um, and these two are the functions that we have right here and we're simply declaring some these two variables um, and what we're doing here is simply once we have the token already available so when we submit a request if my token is null I'm just kind of throwing up a message here uh, where it's either not set up or it's not solved but if it is solved uh, then we are going to send it to the server we also going to and then when the response comes back we're going to reset it and then whatever the server said uh, whether it's a success or an error we're just kind of showing it here um, and then on the server script when when that input is actually sent in it just you simply just give it the token 
uh, and says, hey, recapture, just verify this token, and uh, it, it is going to come back as a true or a false. Um, so if it is verified, it is true, otherwise it's a false, and you are good to go. Whatever message you get there, you do whatever else you need to do on your server script from there on, and your forms, all your public forms are 100% secure at that point, and you do not need to worry about uh, trying to uh, have any of these, say, automated bots or people kind of trying to bombard uh, your rectangle API. There's a few other hidden secret URLs that um, exist within Service Portal that are actually kind of taking these requests. And if you actually have this here and you're doing the server side validation as well as client side validation, your public forms are going to be secure and you do not need to worry about injection. So that's about it for today's video. And uh, feel free to go ahead and uh, leave a comment and let let us know exactly you know how you plan to use it or um, you know if there is any other questions that you actually might have around uh, the usage of this or any help that you might need for any kind of service portal or mobile or anything that to do, do with ServiceNow platform uh, we are experts in just about anything you know end user facing for service now um, and with that said we can implement just about any kind of solution that you would actually require or your customers require for service now um, there is this demo page that does come in with the update set so it does actually have um, some details around what's included and it also has the link to what the, the, Go the Google recapture site so that will also get you to whatever information that you might need all right so with that said uh, thank you very much for watching my video and uh, feel free to get in touch if you ever need any help with the ServiceNow platform. Thank you.